2017 season review for the teams. Now, I've decided to pick the best team, in my opinion, and the worst team. Now, as you can see, already Team Samurai were going to be my best team. So, I'll leave you for the worst team to wait a bit to find out who that is. Uh, but for me, I think it's important to like say wh how I judge these people. Uh, so, for some work, for basically, for the best team, I've thought about overall victories. Uh, so, the, uh, like, how many times they've won, what type of races they've won, if they're team races or not, really. Um, like, how they've performed compared to their own expectations and, like, budget. And also, just how, personally, in my opinion, I think they've behaved. Like, have they been a good team that you've been watching out for? Have they been a bit of a dead team? So, the reason I picked some weather is that in all three Grand Tours, they had a good GC result. They were, Well, they had a good result in all of them. So... For instance, in they won the Giro in the Tour de France. They had the green jersey and the polka dot jersey. And Warren Balaguer won two two stages, I think it was. And Michael Matthews won two stages. So they had a, a real good Tour de France, as you can see here. They just Michael Matthews had a good year. They won the team time trial. Uh, Dumoulin won obviously individual time trial. Um, Wilco Kelderman, uh, he also won the Bing Bang Tour as well. So he, they've had good results all year. I'd say the only thing they haven't had. Is necessarily I mean, and Dumoulin came okay, fifth in the Strade Bianca. So this is a classics maybe, but they still got a top five in um, Flanders, a top five Gent Webb again from Son Craig Anderson, but Paru Bay, yeah, I, mean, they, I think they came twenty fifth, and then we also had uh, Wilke Kelderman who came fourth, which was unlucky um, to, to finish just outside the podium. But I think I think they had a good season, and Warren Balgi had a real good uh, Tour de France. He won, yeah, two stages, came second on another one, won the mountain classification, which was good. And, like, altogether, they just had a good season, I think. Uh, they definitely defied expectations, so they're not one of the biggest, they don't have the biggest budget in the World Tour. So I think that was one thing that really st stood out for me. They seemed like they had a good good team spirit, um, apart from maybe Warren Buggy at the end. In terms of their points, yeah, maybe they didn't score the highest points. Sky did, I believe, they won the World Tour rankings, but... To be honest, Sky should win the World Tour rankings because they have so much money. And I don't think Sky... I mean, Chris Room did well, but their spring classics weren't that good. And that's it. BMC, I didn't really think they did that well. Quick Step, Quick Step were good. They won a lot of races, but I'd say the spring classics is where they let themselves down because they really they need to win one of the big... Well, they won Tour of Flanders, but I feel like... So, yeah, I don't really know why I didn't pick Quick Step. Maybe I should have done, but I feel like that just their budget means that they should be doing quite well. Maybe, I think the Tour de France, yeah, I guess they did well on most races. So I think it was it was tough between them two. I can't really make too many excuses for your quick step, but I just found like Team Somewhere just seemed like a real solid team. They really stood out for me. Um, so my least, my worst team is Trek. And people might be like, oh, Trek didn't do too badly. But I think it's more the amount of bu the budget they have, the riders they have, and I really just think they just didn't perform this year at all. Like, Contador was pretty much their only good rider. Um, so we can see here, Contador, like, yeah, he won a couple early season races. Um, like, he did well in Paranis, came second. Catalonia, like, he didn't win, but he came second GC. Uh, Pai Vasco, he, yeah, he came 15, the second GC is again. Valverde won all those. Dauphiné didn't really do much. Um, 11th GC, Tour de France came 9th GC. Didn't really do like yeah he animated the race and came third and on stage but like for Contador that was quite disappointing. The Vuelta yeah I think the Vuelta was really what like where he stood out. He was on some good stuff then and uh, had some good form and he won up the Angler. But again like considering how much money he gets paid and considering how big of a team Trek Segafredo are it's quite disappointing. John Degelhop for some reason doesn't seem to exist on pro cycling stats but he didn't really do that well. Balco Molimo just did the classic top ten GC in. Uh, Giro, I think it was. Yeah, he came seventh. They didn't do anything that's special. Like they just don't really stand out. Like if we go through the riders, okay. Nitzola, like not really great. They had a couple all right spring classics. Like riders, like Edo and Turns had an all right. Jasper's Jasper story thing came like top fourth in Paris Bay, so that was good. But like, they didn't really do anything spectacular. Pantano had like an all right season. Like you see what I mean? It's just all these sort of all right seasons. Like you go down the bottom, like hot hat, like I don't know, like. You don't really know what they've actually done. A lot of the team, a lot of the, the riders, and I just think, to be honest, I expect more from track. Um, I think I'm pretty sure they have the bigger one of the bigger budgets, um, in pro in the world tour. So I think 
in reality, they should have done well. If this is the rankings. I think this is like the weird pro cycling stats rankings, not the world tour rankings. But anyway, this is roughly what it is because I think Quick Step was second. Um, but yeah, it was. Oh yeah, so if we go world tour teams, here we go. So yeah, Sky One, Quick Step, BMC, somewhere. But like, track. Yeah, they came fourth in the world tour rankings, but like. Didn't really disappoint me. Like I expect Dimension Day to FDJ Lotto Yumbo to fail because they have much money. Maybe Astana were a bit surprised, but Bari and Merida they got like two top, two podium podiums in the Giro and Vuelta, so you can't really complain that much. Like the rest of the team was a bit rubbish, but it's the first season. Sadal again, they got no budget. Emirates, yeah, maybe they're a bit disappointed, but they got a top ten Tour de France, and they had a couple all right other results. Um, Katusha again. Like, they're just expected to be there. Kando had a great season, in my opinion. Same way AG2R. Bora had, like, a, a standard season. Orica had a standard season. Most of them were a bit disappointing. But, like, I feel like Trek, <laughs> I feel like Trek just really let me down. I was like, Denkolk just had a shocker. Like, I don't know what happened to him, to be honest. I mean, obviously, he's coming back from injury and all this stuff. And he had a crash early on. But even so, I think they just didn't seem to progress as a team much. They didn't really seem to get better from last year. So I think they are definitely probably the most disappointed team for 2017 it's always hard to pick one because like everyone has their excuses everyone has like things they've done well at like you'd be like oh yeah but Contour was good like he got so much exposure but you're like yeah but at the end of the day like he should be coming podium on the Tour de France or with Welter like I mean he's that good it's sort of and in the spring classics I mean that's traditionally where they've been good when Cancellara was there they won races but they just haven't and I think in the final selections often they don't really have anyone so I think that's why I picked them. What are your thoughts? Leave them down below. I hope hope people don't get too angry about me <laughs> saying Czech Sega Fredo were disappointing when they actually came fifth in the World Tour rankings. But it's all about perception for me. And that, that's what I thought about this season. Uh, I'm going to do some other reviews like riders, maybe uh, like bikes won, race, number of <laughs> races won by bikes, etc. Things like that. Um, so keep tuned. Give us a subscribe. See ya.